Hi, I'm Lauren Trees from APKC, and I'm here today to introduce a mini presentation from one of our 2021 Excellence in Knowledge Management recipients, Prudential Financial. Prudential Financial has done a great job of managing its content lifecycle and workflows. And this is Allison Wilkins from Prudential talking about how her team has automated aspects of the content workflow. Excellent, thank you. So um, um, I'm happy to have this opportunity to talk to all of you today. Um, I'm going to talk about some of the automated workflows that we implemented and you can um, move on to the next slide. So we'll touch on um, the enterprise um, KM automated workflow, kind of an, an overview. And then we'll go into um, the governance rules. And then lastly, um, how we supported those rules. So if you wanna move on to the next slide, that would be great. So to give you a little bit of background um, at Prudential, we implemented a centralized repository, actually using SharePoint Online. Um, and we migrated over 300,000 knowledge articles. And we did this over the course of two and a half years. So we followed the agile approach, you know, making it um, iterative um, enhancements along the way. And in 2000 or in 2020, rather, we implemented automated workflows. And then later in the year learned that Microsoft was discontinuing those workflows. So, um, they were using a new workflow with Power Automate. And then this required us to really kind of start over and rethink the process. So it, it took a lot of collaboration, a, a lot of work with our developers. Um, but as we went through the journey, we really looked at three key areas, the people, the process, and the technology. So when we think about people uh, from that perspective, we establish roles, which we're gonna talk about in more details in a few minutes, but you think of things like um, process owner and content owner and business approvers. We also established a community of practice. And really this was to educate all of our end users on a variety of topics, including the workflows. So anytime we implement something new, um, this is the forum that we use to educate folks. Then from a process standpoint, um, all of the content has an assigned content owner, which those owners are, are responsible to attest annually to the accuracy of that content. So data integrity is very important to us. We wanna make sure that people continue to trust the tool and use the tool. Um, so that's an annual event. And then if content isn't attested to within 60 days, we have a, um, process to escalate, and I'll talk a little more about that. And then um, the approver process is really designed to ensure segregation of duties and that all content is reviewed and approved for publishing. So for all of our processes, we've documented job aids um, really to guide individuals through the process step by step, making sure that they, they understand. They also can always come to the KM team, um, but we want them to have the tools available to them. And then from a technology standpoint, um, we automated an intake process, which is really our audit trail for all incoming work through completion. And along with this, um, we automated the approver workflow and then attestation workflows. And then we also created micro learning videos for those learners that are more visual. Sometimes um, people would rather see something rather than read something. So we have both the, the job aids as well as the videos. So if you wanna move to the next slide. So I know some of you have talked about um, the governance framework. We also have implemented a governance framework. We actually created eight rules, but for the purposes of today, will focus on two of them, the attestation and the content approval rules. So you can see here, you know, the um, attestation is really making sure that content on the tool is not only accurate, but it's also relevant um, and it ensures the integrity. So that is something we are very, very strong on and something that um, we've automated to ensure that that's, that's working and that's happening every year. 
And then um, the KM approver, as I said, you know, they're responsible to make sure that before content is published, that it should be published. So they're doing kind of that final review and approval of content. So we wanted to make sure that we automated that so it was easy for them um, to approve content. So if you want, you can move on to the next slide. So here we go a little bit deeper into each of the roles. So our process owners are accountable for their business processes. So we expect that they you know, are experts and they understand their business. Um, they oversee the attestation process and really make sure that individuals are attesting to the content. And then um, they are really the ones that are responsible to assign um, content owners. So I'm sure if you can imagine when you have 300,000 knowledge articles, we had to get content owners for each one of those. And, you know, people change jobs, they move around, things of that nature. So it's really important that that stays up to date and we um, will leverage the process owner if someone has left and, you know, we're not getting a response. And then the content owner, um, they are the ones that actually are responsible to make sure that content is accu accurate. So they're reviewing on the annual basis. And then once they perform their review, they send it um, for approval, basically saying that, yes, I've attested to it. Yes, it's accurate. And then that segregation of duties that I spoke about um, is the approver. And then the approver is responsible, um, you know, for one, the review and accuracy, but um, they have four business days, they get notified, four business days to approve. Um, and then once they approve, that's really considered final sign off for us and content is published on our tool. So to take a little deeper dive into each one of these um, workflows, uh, the attestation workflow was established, um, as I've mentioned a number of times to ensure content and accuracy and relevancy. Um, but what happens is that the workflow triggers a notification via email to the content owner, and it notifies them that they have content that requires a review and attestation. And the notification has a link which they just click, it brings them directly to their content. Um, they review it and then submit it for approval. They have 60 days to complete it. And if they don't, within the 60 days, there's an automated um, escalation notice that's sent. And then um, in addition to that, the KM team actually runs a quarterly report for overdue attestations. And then we'll notify the process owner um, to address those overdue attestations. Then on um, the approval workflow, um, this was created um, to ensure, like I said, that content changes or new content is reviewed and approved prior to publishing. Um, we have preset approvers for each business, and this really was to streamline the process. So for example, when content is updated, an automated notification via email is sent to that preset um, approver group um, with a button that essentially says, click the button to accept or reject. So they get the link to the content so they can review it. Um, and they also get a link to what was requested or the changes that were requested. And then the button is as simple as just clicking accept. If they accept it, then the workflow is complete and the content is published. If they select reject, then the workflow ends and the content isn't published. So in summary, what I would say, the Power Automate um, gave us definitely more flexibility to streamline and provide a better end user experience. Um, I can tell you that the approvers have responded very positively. Um, they love the simplification. The old workflow was many steps. This workflow is just a press of a button. Um, with attestation, we passed an internal audit because we had the attestation process automated. Um, so those were two really big wins for us. And then, you know, as we look ahead, because we're always, always looking to enhance, um, we'd like to enhance the quarterly attestation report. So right now, it's something that we have to run manually um, and then send it out, whereas in the future, it'd be nice to be able to just have that automatically triggered and going to those process owners. So that's that's our goal 
for the future.